The EQ is a great tool that can help you transform the sound of your headphones or speakers. Maybe you're after just a little bit of a bass boost, or maybe you want to take your headphones and make them flat, so they become a great studio tool for mixing and mastering. With the right settings and a good EQ, you can go pretty far, and you could even go as far as taking some headphones that you don't necessarily enjoy out of the box and turning them into something you actually want to be wearing on your head every single day. And because of this, all major media players include an EQ. Moreover, if you're into music making, you're probably using one of the popular music making apps, the DAWs as they are called, and they offer you the opportunity to use VST plugins. And there are some great plugins that aim to take your headphones, make them flat, simulate a room around you, and this should technically make it a lot easier for you to mix and master. And I actually enjoy these pieces of software. They're of course not 100% as mixing in a studio, but they do a pretty good job of taking away most of the drawbacks when using headphones. But there is a huge problem. You can only use the EQ in the media player. You can only use these plugins in the DAW. What if you want to keep these uh, settings for your headphones when you're doing just random computer tasks, when you're playing game, when you're browsing the internet, when you're watching a video over the internet. Well, using the classic former method that I just told you about, you can't. You can only use them in the media player or in the DAW. So that kind of sucks. But don't worry if you have a PC. In this video, I'm going to show you all the tools you need in order to apply an EQ curve or a VST plugin system wide. That means it will work all the time when you're browsing the internet, when you're watching a video, when you're playing a game. And not only that, but did I mention that it is completely free? So you won't have to pay anything. You can do it right now. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> All right, so to begin, we will need to download a great piece of software called Equalizer APO. It is completely free and it will be the engine of what we are trying to achieve here because it allows us to apply an EQ curve, a VST plugin or a ton of other effects over the outputs of our computer. More on that later. And then we will browse a very big comprehensive list of presets based on actual scientific measurements that are designed to take popular headphones and make them flat. So if you have a decent set of headphones, there is a very high chance that you will find a suitable preset there. If not, of course, you could always just manually tweak the curve. It just won't be scientifically accurate. For demonstration purposes, in this video, I'll use my Sennheiser HD 598, which in my opinion could use a little bit of EQ and hopefully by the end of this, they will sound much flatter. So enough talking, let's get started. To install Equalizer APO, we are going to open up our favorite browser and look for Equalizer APO and click enter. And the first link in my case is the one from sourceforge.net. This is a legit website and this is where you want to go. And then you see this green download button. So we are going to click this button and then we have to wait for five seconds for the download to initialize. And as the five seconds are passed, then we are going to click save file here. So save file. And in just a moment, the download will be ready. So let's open the downloads folder. Let's minimize the browser. And this is the setup that we need to execute. So click next to continue. This is the license agreement that you're going to read, of course. So read it word by word, make sure you understand it and click I agree. This is the destination folder. I recommend you leave it as it is. So let's click next. And then these are the start menu folders. Let's click install. Let's wait for it. And this is the configurator. This is the important step where you tell Equalizer APO which of these devices you are currently using and which of these devices you want to be affected by Equalizer APO. As you can see, depending on your computer, you can have a different number of devices. I have plenty of them, but this is because I have all kinds of things connected to this computer at the moment. As you can see, the status here says APO can be installed next to each one of them. So if you want to, you can install it over multiple devices, but the point is to put it on the device you're actually plugging your headphones into. Now, in my case, as you can see, uh, I have here monitors. I don't need to, to enable the monitors. You can tell they're monitors by the NVIDIA high definition audio device next to them. 
I also have a device that says headphones. That's not the actual device where I'm plugging my headphones. I'm plugging my headphones into the Scarlett 18i20 USB. So this is what I'll configure. As you can see, it is the default device and APO can be installed. So I'll click line out. Of course, you could also enable it for other devices, for the speakers, for example, for high efficient audio device, you can click this. You can enable it for multiple devices if you want to, but I won't do it. I'll just enable it for the line out because this is what I'm using. This is my default audio device. And then you can click OK. And it tells you that you can change this later by opening up configurator.exe. So this is good to know, but we will click OK. And now it will tell us that it needs to reboot our computer. So we will do just that and we'll be back when the computer reboots. OK, so we are back up and running and now it's time to download the presets that I talked about and get Equalizer APO up and running. So first, we're going to navigate to this link over here that I put into the description of this video. And this is a GitHub repository full of presets. If you've never used GitHub before, it could be a little bit confusing, but don't worry, I'll show you exactly where you need to go. So you have this folder here called results and you want to click results and then you're going to see some more subfolders. These are the providers for the measurements. Basically, this GitHub user has taken all kinds of measurements from different websites and he converted them into Equalizer APO presets. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the ones from headphone.com. You could use all kinds of uh, different presets that you can find here. So I'll click headphone.com. And then I'll look for my headphones, which are the Sennheiser HD 598. So let's browse here until we find them. There they are. So I'm going to click my headphones over here and then you're going to see this page. And there are all kinds of different presets. There's one for a fixed band EQ, a graphic EQ, a parametric EQ. There's a little bit of an information here if you want to go over it. I won't go into it. I'll just tell you to straight up download the graphic EQ version of the preset. So just uh, look for the one that says graphic EQ, click it, and then you're going to see this page. Now, this could be a little bit confusing and the thing is that Equalizer APO is very flexible and there are multiple ways in which you could apply this preset. But the easiest one would be to just look for the raw button and right click it and save link as. This will download the preset to your computer. So just save the preset. It's going to go straight into downloads. As you can see, I downloaded it a couple of times before, but now we're going to move it from downloads because we don't want to accidentally delete it from here. We're going to actually cut it and put it into our Equalizer APO folder in the config one. So in the config subfolder, we're going to paste this preset. Oh, I already had it here, so I replaced it. But there we go. We have it now in this config subfolder. So now it's time to open the editor. And the editor is where you configure Equalizer APO and where you change the sound. So when you open up Equalizer APO for the first time, you're going to see this window over here. And these rows are filters that get applied to your headphones. And this is just a starting point. You don't need these filters for what we're doing. So what we're going to do is click this uh, red minus button over here, and this will remove these filters. If you don't see it, you have this sort of icon over here and this will open up a different menu and you're going to click remove here and remove here. So now we just have a blank canvas where we can uh, apply our preset. So we're going to click this uh, green plus icon and then we're going to go to control and include. So click this and then it says no file selected. That beca that's because we need to open up the preset that we just downloaded. So click this, click open. And now that's all you need to do for your headphones to be corrected. As you can see, it applied a curve to your headphones and the curve is made in such a way that technically it shouldn't distort. Of course, you could do some tests but just to be sure if you don't have any sort of a problem with volume and you're not necessarily struggling to get enough volume from headphones, a good thing to do would be to add a preamp that you can find into basic filters. So add a preamp and uh, move it above the include filter. 
and we could turn the gain down by let's say six decibels as it was in the default preset by the way so right now you can see down here the resulting curve we turn down the gain just a little bit just to make sure that we're not distorting and then this eq curve gets applied and that's pretty much all you need to do if all you're after is a flat sound. Now, the EQ curve is going to be applied to your audio device all the time while you're browsing the Internet, while you're playing a game, while you're just using your computer. So if you want to stop here, then that's totally fine. But Equalizer APO, as I said, is very flexible and it has a lot of options. As you can see here, you can add all kinds of EQing filters equalizers there are also convolution filters and this will sort of add reverb or simulation you could record the um, fingerprint of a room into a convolution file and you could reapply it to your sound um, it's a little bit of a more advanced topic but this is not the most exciting part the most exciting part is this one where it says plugins vst plugin if you are into music making, you probably know what a VST plugin is and you have some that you really enjoy. Well, Equalizer APO allows you to use these plugins all the time, system wide, when you're using your headphones or even your speakers, as long as these plugins are 64 bit. So, what this means is that you can take a plugin like Abbey Road Studio 3 from Waves that simulates the sound of Abbey Road Studio 3 in your headphones and use it as a system wide plugin. So if that's not exciting, then I don't know what is. But for this feature specifically, I'm going to make a different video where I'm going to explain to you what you need to do in order to take the Waves plugin and use it in Equalizer APO, because it's not as straightforward as you might expect. Uh, this expects a DLL plugin. I have one here, but this one won't work because it's 32 bit as you can see, so it has to be 64 bit. But the Waves plugins are in a different format. I don't want to talk too much about that in this video. Just know that I'm going to make a part two where I'll show you how to use Waves plugins in Equalizer APO. But, you know, the sky's the limit. Just have fun with it. Play with the settings, tweak the EQ curve and turn your headphones or speakers into something you actually enjoy. Well, something else I hoped you enjoy was this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to click the like button and maybe subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to tune in for the next one where I show you how to make your headphones sound like you're in the Abbey Road Studio 3. So with that out of the way, my name is Andrew Andrew. Thank you very much for watching this one. Have an awesome day and an awesome week, and I'll see you next time.